Hello, world, editors, whoever. Thank you for joining me on what's going to be a riveting tutorial, just riveting. Um, I really believe that as I continue to make these tutorials, I actually get worse and worse um, because I've already made two and I probably spent 45 minutes and deleted both of them. So, yeah, it is what it is, I guess. Um, I'm talking about uh, sync lock really quick today and just kind of how to use that in your timeline. So that's these buttons right here and what tracks you want to keep synced up. Right now, I'm just going to let you know, I usually leave them all synced. Um, I just kind of like working that way because I'll show you why. Um, if I'm working in a sequence and, you know, there's a lot more tracks than this or whatever, but I want to say get rid of this part and this part, right? And I have an in and out point set and I have one track selected. If I ripple delete that, then everything behind it is going to fall in line, okay? So what happened there is when I when I ripple deleted this, all everything to the right stayed intact because it was in sync, okay? Now if I undo that and I deselect video track two and I ripple delete, everything falls back except for that track, all right? And, and so forth. So 